Hello there everyone, so welcome to another episode of this Edui campaign following our first two victories against Rome. They are now advancing against my faction leader and this other foe here, this other friend here. Now, if they attack me, I'll actually believe I have a better chance because I'll have two armies in very good position and I'll be able to deal mostly pretty well against these heavy infantry. No, 419 is actually no match against my own infantry, even the Patroi as you see there. So let's just take care of this Roman army first. I'll have two of my armies against his army. They have some levy hobbities there, some light cavalry, a couple of archers in there, but this army is slaughtered at the... Uh, it's probably going to be a slaughter really really easy slaughter, let's say, uh, just as the first army that we had. And um, after that, then, that's where I'm going to do uh, a push with this uh, smaller army into the armies that are you know, besieging my uh, faction leader. That's what I'm thinking. I'll try to, you know, cause him to have a a worse spot. Now that's a very defensive spot, so I'm gonna wait for my armies right here. Exactly, because, well, if we're gonna have to fight over the hill, we're gonna fight with everyone. That's that's what I want. If he approaches us, then he makes us a favor. So let's deploy exactly as I've done on the last one. This is a pretty good army, pretty decent one, actually. Let me just well, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Right, guys? Let me just deploy them exactly as I've done on the last one. Let's go for it. Let's have the all the cavalry on that side. Let's have these guys protecting the, the right flank. Thank you. Let's start up the battle. We have all forces. Well, this time they actually approach from that end. So, that's not a need. Still have my reinforcements here. Thank you. And he is trying to attack? No, he's actually deploying so far away that I'll be able to move in in a very comfortable position, I guess. Yeah, I'll be able to attack them from what? They will attack from this side and I'm going to attack on the bigger slope. Well, if I can get to this si side of the hill, then I'm in a perfect shape. So that's exactly what I'm going to try to do. Exactly. I'm going to move in here. Archers are going to move here. These men and these men, they are actually going to group up and we're only going to protect the right flank. That's what I want to move in. And my cavalry is also going to deploy here. That's it. Let's fast forward and see what happens. I believe this force will be able to do the trick that I want. No, he's trying to put himself in a better position. I don't think he'll make it. And I'll still have my reinforcements approaching, so let's just put him in aggressive stance. That way they will move a little bit uh, slower, which is perfect, because I don't want them moving way too fast here. If he stays there, then I'll be perfectly deployed and I'll win fairly easily. If he moves towards this area, which would be the best area to, to defend, then I'll be in uh, a troubled position. And he's moving in, actually. Alright, or he's not. Well, he's kind of deciding on that. I think he's deploying according to my general. Right, if he's deploying according to my general, let me just keep moving. I'll be able to, you know, position my men accordingly. He's still going to deploy there, and my men are approaching the point where they can actually deploy perfectly. Hang on. Is he going to strike me? He is. Or not? I don't, honestly don't know. Honestly don't know. He's approaching with these units. They are warmed up. And my cavalry, I think my cavalry needs to move forward. That's it. That's why he's trying to move in with his skirmishes. That's to be expected. But my cavalry need to move over there. These guys need to run. I guess so. 
Let's run with all my infantry. That's it. He's deploying. Alright, but my archers are right there. Perfect. Yeah, they're gonna start attacking him, but man, my infantry units are so slow. Right, and they're winded as well. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is not gonna be an easy one. I'll need my uh, allies who are approaching, of course. These guys are winded, so they're not gonna keep at it really well. My archers will do some decent damage, but so will these skirmishers. Right, these guys, let's just walk. That's it. So he's holding some of these men back while attempting to move with those, and he's letting my uh, allies approach. Perfect. Well, I guess Winded will have to do. Winded will have to do. Right, my allies are attacking, which is perfect. He has not a been able to counter my uh, approach here. Let's move them here. Those are some heavy infantry right there. Yeah, these are shaken because, of course, defeat seems certain. Even though these are medium and my are the best units. Don't know why. Let's just charge them up. Actually, no. My ally is arriving, so I'm going to leave them taking the blunt of the attack. These guys, let's do like this. That's it. That's it, and let's move you here. Cavalry, you're gonna move here. Come on, I guess that's right on the edge, so I gotta be careful with those movements. That's it, can you run? Oh no, they're very tired. A couple of them are even exhausted just by moving, so I gotta be careful with these guys. Right, so I think this will bode well for me, right there. Lost a couple of men, but no problem. Those are some Illyrians. Let's move them in. Cavalry are trying to move in. Alright, get, get you out of there. Thank you. Right, so what is this? Some skirmishes. Right, then you can pursue him. Breaks. Let's move forward. Let's move over there. Thank you. Cavalry, let's move over here. Get it. They're already in a good position. Alright, let's just approach them. Thank you. These dudes, well, let's just charge them with my Batroys. That's it. Three units against them. Let's charge them here. Let's charge them there. Let's charge here. Let's send them over there. Thank you. Everyone here is moving out. No, they're not. Let's just make sure that these guys can deploy. Right, so all my cavalry is actually attacking this skirmisher cav. This is actually their general, so as soon as we kill him, we're gonna charge on this side and we're gonna make the damage that we need. Do I have anyone, anyone here? I don't. Let's just charge here on the middle. He's charging with my his best units. Let me move here. Where are some of my heavy infantry? They're here. Right, let's move these guys forward. Let's go. Everyone is running away there. Oh, I managed to kill these guys. Alright, so you says, let's move here. You, let's move here. You're gonna attack those. You, let's keep pushing. Let's see if we can... Well, I'm not gonna be able to, to find those guys. Actually, let's charge those there. Cavalry, Noble Cav, let's charge here. Let's charge there. Where are you? Let's charge here and let's cause them to rout. Shall we? Can you charge these Celtic Slingers? Thank you. Even charging on over a hill. We're getting some good trades here. Let's see, these are day dying right there. These units are approaching perfectly. 
And I think these will start wavering. These are already fighting to the death. Alright, uh, I gotta I gotta make a new charge. If those are fighting to the death, then I have to charge something else. Let's charge over there. Let's charge here, thank you. And this cavalry is gonna charge there and cause a nice rout. You're pursuing here, you have done that. Let's pursue those precipices, thank you. Not pursue, let's kill them. Let's pursue these ones. Do I have anyone else? They're gonna survive with too many units for my taste. Unless I actually manage to, you know, draw them all and kill them all. Right, I think these guys can manage. Let's just take them away and attack right there. That's it. Let's pursue those. Let's pursue these ones. These are fighting to death. Everyone is fighting to the death. Let's go. Charge them there. Where are some other units? Nothing here. Nothing here. Where are they? These some um, dudes. Yes, they are. What is those? Alright, you sirs, let's charge those chameleon skirmishers. You're charging up those, that's fine. That's it, come on. Come on, Noble Cav, let's pursue them. We're killing them, but we're not killing them entirely. I didn't want them to ever survive this battle. Oh well, I'm doing what I can here. That's it, let's make sure we're pursuing the units that cannot flee at all. These are just some four units. Come on, dude. Let's make sure that we are capturing the the units that are, you know, the most... Oh, please, just catch these guys. Right, these ones. Let's make sure that we can pursue some... Still flying away. Right, I managed to catch one of them. Let's go oh, with times two here. Right, how many are there? 28. Okay, let's pursue those. Those are 124. Thank you. Where is my general? Please, general, can you pursue someone? These guys? I guess so. There's one fighting to the death here. There's a couple of properties there. You can actually... Well, that's honestly one of the biggest units he has on the field right now. Oh, boy. Come on. Thank you. Can you pursue them? These are still fly uh, fleeing away. Fast horsemen, can you pursue those? Oh, they already left. They already left the battle. How about those? They still haven't. Please get a couple of them. I don't know if that will be possible. No, they won't. So all that they have is here. I didn't. Uh, that was not a success. I was not able to wipe them all out but still you know considering the amount of men that I lost that was pretty mo pretty much what I could have hoped for uh, especially on this on this uh, on this uh, these circumstances you know those were still pretty decent infantry so well I guess we cannot always have a brilliant battle here oh come on kill those why are you Oh, and those are going to flee. I don't know why. Well, doesn't matter. They're way too too close to the edge. So I didn't lose anything, but I didn't capture everything that he had. Let's see if I can do that, actually. Let's see if I can do that. You know, closely, uh, I'll have like eight battles against the top units that they have. Then I'll have to replenish units. I'll have to probably build up a confederation right now. I think that'd be nice. However, I don't need too many. Alright, maybe I can attack those then. Let's merge here. Let's... I can attack the captain. That's good. I'll honestly attack it right away. No, I'll actually attack this one right away. Then I'm going to replenish units. I'll have to use these mercenaries, that's for sure. And I'll have to use mercenaries, to, you know, to replenish my troops. Uh, it also will stop them to get from getting mercenaries as well. That's that's good for us. Let's start deployment. Thank you. Let's use my archers effectively. Thank you. 
so uh, honestly, since this, this type of battle, I'm gonna use uh, a, a line of you know worse infantry. Don't need to put my best infantry on the line here. These guys will just be there to pursue. That's it. Arch of fire. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna accept you. You're gonna have auto fire. You're gonna approach here. Thank you. Let's in. Horseman, you're gonna approach there. That's it. He still has some pretty, pretty decent units. Even some Romani cavalry. Chameleon Roman citizen cavalry. Yeah, I don't care about the reinforcements. They are not needed for this battle. You might think that the Arch of Fire and Sling of Fire doesn't do too much. They actually do the softening up. I I believe they should have a little bit more. Um, yeah, more oomph, let's say, to it. Uh, because other than other than that, then it's it's not exactly easy, let's say, uh, to kill a man, but even with an archer fire, you know, any archer would be dangerous because they would be able to, you know, cut them down. Same thing, because suddenly, for instance, these cavalry, these skirmisher cavalry, they can't do anything at all. They actually, they honestly cannot do anything at all. Well, this cavalry, oh, I gotta go General, let's charge up those Elite in light infantry, you guys, you're gonna charge those Montreux, and that's it. I'm losing a couple of my men, but see, these dudes, they're never gonna get any units at all, you know. Three or four, sometimes. Let's just put them here, thank you, let's go back with them. These guys managed to kill them, thank you. I'm gonna attack here as well. These guys are still pushing forward. On. That's good. That's it. Come on, let's move my cavalry into the best position to charge these guys. They already spent most of their javelins, so <laughs> there's nothing I can do there. Right, so honestly, I'm actually gonna charge with the cavalry. Let's see them. They're gonna stop there and gonna be charged upon. Yeah, see, the, this should have been a complete surround on them, and instead they all are attacking them from the back. I don't get it. Doesn't matter. I guess they will still die over there. This cavalry is attacking some Batroids. They're fighting to death and gonna die. Let's charge those. Thank you. Yeah, his mercenary cavalry is gonna attack here. Let's go, dudes. Let's go over there. Thank you. That's it, come on. Let's move here. I need you to be in a position to charge. You guys are charging these Gallic nobles. Let's send them in. Send these guys in. Wow, they're managing to kill my my British retainers. Well, not that I need them, honestly. Killing the Gallic speedmen or the Gallic nobles here. Let's come on. send your javelins right there. Are you sending javelins? Well, they are one or two at a time. Let's charge them from the back. Let's charge them here. Let's move over there. Gallic nobles are fleeing. Thank you. I don't want to make too many, you know, automated battles because he's always going to lose a couple of stuff. You know, on this. Hey, these guys are having some troubles. This heavy cavalry is actually pretty strong. Pretty strong indeed. Alright, we're pursuing the guys. 
these are fleeing. I can actually move my men over there and even my general. Thank you. Can you attack those chameleon dudes? Yes, we can. Let's charge them all. Oh, they are retreating. They're fighting to the death. Perfect. Let's catch them all. If they're fighting to the death, that's fine. Time six. We killed his general. Perfect. Poor boys. Poor boys. Lost 4% actually. Not too much considering. No, all that I needed was actually to kill that cavalry unit because that's the most dangerous one. Can't remember how I dealt with that cavalry unit, honestly. Probably it was him dealing with it and causing it to rout. Uh, so I managed to, you know, uh, defeat that other army previously. Oh well. Nothing else to pursue, right? These are just some, some units, scars. Probably just one guy. Exit the battle, I've won. Perfect. I've even lost about the same <laughs> number of men than on the last one. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Uh, other than this, well, that's pretty much what we've got, guys. We've gotten some pretty nice battles. We defeated a couple of uh, armies so far from the Romans. Now, on the next episode, that's going to be where it's going to get tricky. Let's execute these guys. Let me see. Can you merge some units? Yes, I can disband this guy. And I can recruit something else for their spot. Naked fanatics or some battery. I prefer the battery, honestly. Let's recruit those. Good. Some traits increased. That's for him. Seven turns here. Alright. So, so far it seems like this army will be able to reinforce what I want, which is this area. I'll actually move here. One of these armies is going to stay on this uh, Massalia settlement. That's it. So next episode, I'm going to use this army to crush this other... This one. I'm going to use this one to maybe crush this. And this. I don't know what they have. I'll have to check that out. Let me check here. Oh, lots of slingers. That's good for us. That's honestly good for us. Now my other spy, can you can you tell me how the Romans are? Well, it's gonna take a while, guys. It's gonna take a while, especially with the Epirotes nearby. You know, if Epirotes would attack the Romans, that would be perfect. An honest. Whoa! Hang on a second. They're actually they're actually here on Messina, so they're winning the battle against Carthage. Gotta be careful. I just hope that they haven't made it into Africa. Well, nevertheless, we'll have to see that all in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye. Cheers!